wanna be elder nigga like Maserati ya in the cut steady watching ya come out of nowhere and say that it is the endless wildest disrespectful post that he can say about a, a fellow Israelite sister and a brother. And that's all I'm focusing on. Cause he the one that jumped outside. of a woman charged in the fatal shooting of her husband of 10 days. That trial now in its fourth day. WRBL's Olivia Yepes was the only reporter in the courtroom and she has the latest on the case. Thursday, jurors heard testimony from the medical examiner and 34-year-old Sharice Douglas herself. Douglas is on trial for the 2021 murder of her husband of 10 days, 38-year-old John Anthony Johnson. The medical examiner testified wounds on the body of Douglas's husband indicate he was shot at an intermediate range. Uh, in this case, uh, most uh, references will tell you that the intermediate or medium range will be between about three inches to three feet. But we can, make, we can narrow it on that based on the density or the amount of gunpowder. Um, and so the, the more dense the gunpowder is, the closer it is, and then it will spread from further away. Uh, this only spreads about two inches away from the wound, but based on that, uh, it, it seems to be less than a foot in my opinion. According to Douglas' testimony, she shot Johnson fearing for her life when the two got into an altercation after Douglas texted him asking for money to leave their shared apartment at Gentian Village. Douglas said her text to her sister, I'm about to kill, dude. So she's saying she was a self-defense situation. She felt her life was flashing before. She was getting choked out. Douglas said her text to her sister, I'm about to kill dude, wasn't literal. Under cross-examination, she verified there were only minutes between the text and the shooting. The defendant also testified she left the apartment and sold the gun for $350 to a friend of a friend in Alabama within an hour of the incident. That he's he that she killed her husband. Yeah, she murdered. Hey, she hey, it not not just killed him. Like yeah, it's one thing that if he, he's beating me down and I had no choice but to stab him, to get him off of me. No, she shot the dude in his back. She skipped state and then sold the murder so, weapon. So she I'll read it. Yeah, hold up before you do. Mm -hmm. Now, when he first got with this girl. When my hop, I want to say this shit so y'all yeah. know that I said this shit. But say this shit so y'all yeah. know that I said this shit. When Maharika first got with this girl, Miss Judah, the rapper, I'm a butterfly. It's hot. hot. <laughs> Where, where's she from? Memphis. Memphis, butterfly. Hot, hot. Ex, ex so called repentant of being. Yeah, I'll just leave that alone because that ain't even part of it. She, when he first got with her, she was talking is dissing this out. And I say punk because you, you let you your know. wife punk you out like yeah. that. The girl that you talking to punk you out like that. She was punking him out. He got me on the phone with her. He told me to counsel her. I tried to counsel her. She did And that's the thing. Punking him out. He got me on the phone with her. He told me to counsel her. I tried to counsel her. She didn't know that I knew. He told me she killed her husband. She didn't know that I knew that. When I said, hey, she's talking all this stuff. I said, hey, sus, you know I know that you killed your husband. She told me. How does a nigga, what kind of real nigga dies if you shoot him right there? Where'd you shoot him? It don't matter. What kind of real nigga, I shot him, but what kind of real nigga, I didn't know he was going to die when I shot him. I'm like, sus. What the fuck are you talking about? You shot this nigga in cold blood. What kind of real nigga dies? And I was like, and I went in on him. And, you know, what the brother wanted to talk about was the sister comes out of, uh, she was a, she was a stud. You shot this dude. 
and she cussed me the fuck out like I was a bitch nigga. You, who the fuck you like think you, you are? You the yeah, she cussed me out like she cussed Mahavraka out. <laughs> I got Mahavraka on the phone and was like, listen to her. Ah, oh, man, you know, the sus, you knew. The Bible talks about you can't be a witness if you got bad character. We listen to these brothers that got bad character. So, we get on the phone, we talking, uh, and Maharaka's like, man, talk to her, man, she going off on me. And she calls this nigga gay. Said, he, hey, he, he, you a f ass nigga. That's what she said. Yeah. My word. That's what she said. So, she hey, called, hold up, though. Mm -hmm. said, you gay? And you like your booty licked? And you look at a nigga like his booty tickled? And that's why your fucking mama died. So, right, his mama had died like a month or two before mm -hmm. that. Because she was mad at him. She's like, that's why your mammy died. So on the phone, I'm listening to this. Mm -hmm. and I, after I get off, I'm like, mom. And they can have 10 wives, divorce and remarry any woman they want to as many times as they want to. Concubines, sleep with prostitutes. It's the culture. Oh man, she just wilding right now. Oh, he went in. You love the Quabah that much? That's what you trying to justify? Because, and that's why I said, yeah, she had, she still hasn't repented. Because how do you murder your husband? He died, and then you have the gumption to tell now the dude that you dealing with. That's why your mama died. You real light when it comes to death, ain't you? You took another man's. He life. had to bring it out because this yeah. is real. Yeah. But if we say that and bring it out and say he took another man's wife, oh man, you speaking on my house? That's not how it happened. And then on top of that, I didn't have. That's why I'd be like, brothers be want me and Judah to take the fall for everything. And then on top of that, I didn't have. That's why I'd be like, brothers be want me and Judah to take the fall for everything. Cause I didn't have brothers be like, yeah man, I didn't heard the story about Maharaka and how he took his wife, and I don't agree with. And never healed. Is, is cheating on you any man would be upset about that he like yeah you hurt over that yes nigga i'm hurt over that i was hurt over that but guess what i was hurt too by brothers i got i have been hurt more by brothers than i have by combined what are you talking about this whole life everybody's hurt by a man and a woman whether it be a brother whether it be an uncle whether it be your father I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha HaKwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and even the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, you fellow believers of this truth, and you sincere sisters as well. Shalom to you. And I like to say Shalom to the elect, the hopeful elect. So, anyway, um, this video I saw off this um, Israelite. Fellow Israelite channel of Power, Power, I forgot, Prince of Power, I think is his channel. And um, there's a couple things he said. I couldn't put all of it in there. And one of, one of the things he said is, this is all happening because they dabble into different many wives, right? And as we teach, there was nothing wrong with having multiple wives. But as you see, one wife is enough. This is why Paul said, I wish you as, as, as I and didn't even have one. And as I always say, that Yahweh never went and rebuked and told uh, any man that was an Israelite um, not to have more than one wife, sin no more because you got more than one wife, but it was adultery, right? That's why, that's where a man sins when it comes to women. So anyway, um, I'll do a short commentary on this, you know, and again, going back to the, the wives thing, you go back to Adam um, Adam and Eve, you go back to, you know, all you need is one woman to really destroy you. And this Jake, um, uh, I think this guy Judah Mack, they was originally IUIC, he's explaining about Maharaka. Now, Maharaka back in the day uh, was caught, caught in adultery or whatever. And, um, you know, it's what it is. And we, we, we try to teach that you know, women in these churches, they bring a lot of confusion, especially the wicked woman. You know, I'm, I'm saying the, the, 
the seriously disturbed wicked Eve. You don't know who you, and this is the problem with these guys and they're using these women. All they really doing it is to try to get wives, man. You know, they're weak to the, to the box, right? They're weak to the stuff, so to speak. And you know, what a Jake wants in comfort is women and money. That's all that Jake wants is some money and women, not so much in that order, right? And these women, uh, as the scripture says, they take captive silly women, right? But then you Jakes, as I always say in videos, a lot of these Jakes, when they go to wake up these uh, so-called women, a lot of those women will side with you and be even feminine with you and act like they love you just in order to find your weakness and get you. So you'll have the Israelite woman who will do that. Right? Let's go to Sirach uh, 26 and 23. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that fear of the Lord. Another thing I want to stress is the rap music, the rap beats, that energy. As I did a video yesterday on Baal, Kemosh, Astaroth, you know, all that vibration brings adultery, orgies, you know, death, destruction. And as I brought out before, when that gun shoots that fire, you know, when you get assassinated, right, and especially on the left-hand side, you've been sacrificed to a degree. The Lord put you away. And these guys uh, trust these women. And these women are going to be these guys' downfall. We see this in the HOI big time. Now you got groups popping up. Well, I'm starting up my own campaign. I'm starting up my own group. I got this group and that group. Now you got hundreds of groups just popping up. And it's, it's silly women ready to be taken. But some of those women are so silly. Some of those women are sharp. And they, they know exactly what they're doing. There's some of these women that don't, don't rest you know, Proverbs 4 says, enter not into the path of the wicked, and they will not rest till they cause something to fall. Remember those spirits on women too. Those spirits on men and women and children. Right? This is crazy, man. So I just, I don't want to make it too long because the intro, I had to take a lot. I went to the different videos, you know, to try to put it together. It's alleged that Maha Raka, right, took on a woman that had just killed her husband, but while on a run, he picks her up, right? And then <laughs> and then he bees with her. I, I I heard they had a child. Can't say that for sure. This, this brother in the channel kind of said that. So I'm not sh too clear on that. But they got together, and now he's got these campaigns on Save Miss Judah. Right? So he loves that type of thuggish, rapping woman. Me personally... I would never mess with a woman who raps. <laughs> That's too masculine. So you got to start questioning these guys. And they're, you know, the way that they go, let's put it that way. You have to start questioning that. Guys that want a bunch of women, right? But then they love when women talk to them like that. I don't know. I'm not going to say this or say that. But there's something weird going on. I don't know about the 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 what the brothers were saying to Judah Mac and the other Jake from IUIC about the um, explicit acts that he was supposedly had performed on him. I, I don't know. I'm just here to do a video uh, to show that this is why we don't at Great Millstone, we don't, we're not hungry for women. You know, the one sisters that follow us, they understand that. Our mindset is prophecy. Our mindset is defending the truth. Our mindset is not rap videos, mixing keyboards. And another uh, issue also I'll say is trying to wake up everybody. The Lord is not for waking up everybody. He's only waking up, it's only for the elect. But these people, this is what happens when you claim you're just waking up people. Yeah, you could be waking up demons. Right? 2 Corinthians 6 and 16. And what agreement had the temple of God with idols? Yeah, they're rapping. Especially the rap music, the rap beats. And then they kind of mix it. You can keep that separate, but then they are mixing it in the truth, man. Right? 
For ye are the temple of the living God, and God have said, I will dwell in them, right, and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people, as Hebrews the eighth chapter says. Right? So let me go on. I just had a couple scriptures. Proverbs 31 and 3. Uh, this is the words of King Leomel, I believe was Solomon. Give not thy strength unto woman, nor thy ways that which destroy of kings. Right? It's, it is not for kings, O Leomel, Leomel. It is not for kings to drink wine, for, uh, nor for princes to strong drink, lest they drink and then forget the law and prevent the judgment of any of the affliction. Now, another thing I saw is this man is asking another man to counsel this woman. This shows an act of desperation. He knows this woman wasn't right, but he reached out for another man to counsel his wife on what's right. And this is the, the mindset of Israel, man. This is the mindset of these jakes and this, this you know, these elites, they, you know, the people who want this destroyed, they enjoy that. But guess what? The Lord is the one set that all up anyway. And this is what's making a separation from us to everybody else. Not saying there ain't some other camps who follow true doctrine or sincere about what they teach and believe. But this is madness. You just had not too long ago, I think it was Captain Tazariak some years back, his woman got online and started spilling the beans for everything. But here with this woman, this woman literally shot her husband after 10 days, right? Got on the run and met another Hebrew Israelite. This is, uh, you know, what can you say, man? Uh, Proverbs, um, let's go to Proverbs. Let's go to Proverbs 7 and 24. Um, 25. Let not thine heart decline to her ways, right? Go not astray in her paths, which we know is also going into doctrine, you know? For she have cast down many wounded, yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Hey, this is all biblical, man. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. And it is, it's, you know, uh, Jake has lost his life with a Hebrew Israelite woman. That these guys woke up, adopted in, because, you know, when it comes to these women, there's no strategic boundaries. They just see them as feminine uh, women that er they coming in and everybody she's just going to be somebody wife nobody's looking at these women and seeing if they right or not I'm pretty sure they just see a pretty face little curve nice curves or whatever she got and a smile right you know uh, KRS1 had a song years ago called Jimmy Hat Jimmy you know, talking about wearing condoms because you can't trust a big button to smile, right? And I believe New Edition, uh, one of them had it going on, said that too. But uh, this was an old saying anyway. You can't trust uh, anybody who just comes up and claim to be an Israelite. Nothing but confusion, man. Nothing but pure confusion. Proverbs 5 and 3. For the lips of an adulterous woman drip honey. And her speech is smoother than oil. But in the end, she is bitter as gall, sharp as a double-edged sword. <laughs> her feet go down to death. Her steps lead straight to the grave. Is this not what's been spoken of or written in the scriptures? And then one brother, the bald Jake, said he had a wife 15 years and a best friend slept with him, with her. So, you know, you guys haven't learned anything? And then there's so much adultery going on in these churches and schools, man. They just don't say anything. You know, Christians, it happens in the Christian church, obviously. Because that's culture, as this Jake said. It is the culture of so-called blacks, natives, and Hispanics. But mainly, you so-called blacks, man. That's your culture. Pure adultery, pure wickedness, pure evil right she gives no thought to the way of life her path wanders aimlessly but is not, but not, does not know it um, there's a lot in here I'm not going to read all of it 
Why my son be intoxicated with another man's wife? Right? So I guess he took it as, well, she, he, he got put to death so I could just take her on. And then this man, Maharaka, has always been in a couple incidents of adultery, along with Zabak and the rest of the HOI, or some of them in the HOI, I can't say all of them. And it's because those women, those women bring confusion, bring drama, bring trouble, right? It says, um, why embrace the bosom of the wayward woman, right? It also says, for, for your ways are in full view of the Lord and examine your paths. The evil deeds of the wicked ensnare them. The cords of their sin hold them fast. I'm not going to read no more on that. I just think I wanted to get to the point of um, um, all, this, you know, all these things that's been said and happening. That's the gist of it. Women can bring confusion you know men bring confusion too I'm not going to say men don't because there's a lot of men that come into the truth do the same sneaky type of sneaky. remember the scripture says they, they catch men they wait as a trap and catch men well the women wait in the trap to catch uh, men as well and uh, the problem is the, the women right there is no so called legislation or no order intact to uh, when it comes to these women these men just look at women and they use their femininity or whatever else and they cut you. I guarantee the majority of these Jakes ain't even with the same wife. They just splitting the wife, jumping around, bouncing around. That's why we got to get out of here. But for the meanwhile, you know, we need to stay focused. That's why I'm doing this video. Stay focused. And don't worry about a bunch of wives. That's more stress. But according to the law, there's no law that says you can't have more than one wife. Now, I've did videos in that Deuteronomy 17. The bishop must be blameless. And he had said that for the, for the reason of order. But there was men in there who had more than one wife. That's why he didn't say everybody uh, must have more than one wife. I, I went into the history on that. I'm not going to read that. I just wanted to bring this out. This has nothing to do with this man to have multiple wives, as this guy, the Prince of Power, said. But it has everything to do with one woman. This is one woman. This, whether he had eight other wives or not, that don't matter. It's that one woman. And it only takes one woman. So I have so much confusion. Let your woman learn at home. You know, and these guys counseling one, one another's wives. It's all a low, low vibration, you know, low mannered behavior, man. That's all I have on that show.